Despite my firm convictions, I have always been a man who tries to face facts and to accept the reality of life as new experience and new knowledge unfolds. Baby, you can call me a superman. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan, and we are Funny and Jesse. So, right about now, we're gonna do another reaction video, or rather, I'm gonna do another reaction video. But before we get into the reaction, guys, I want to thank everybody out there who's been subscribing to our channel. And also, you want to thank the people who actually managed to get us to 2 million lifetime views. That's really an achievement, and thank you so much. But the most important thing is uh, the message that we're trying to, you know, give to you guys and also uh, the reaction that we're giving out to you people. I hope it also like opens your mind or educates you at some point or something like that. Anyway, yeah, so thank you so much. And if you're new to this channel, we are finding Jesse. We do a lot of reaction videos. So right about now, what we're going to do is that we're going to do another reaction video. And this one right here, everybody knows Malcolm X. I mean, one of the most eloquent, profound activists who really fought for the rights of you know black people in the united states so anyway guys today we're going to react to malcolm x letter from haji yeah so without any further ado guys let's get it never have i witnessed such sincere hospitality and overwhelming spirit of true brotherhood as it is practiced by the people of all colors and races here in the ancient holy land the home of abraham and all the other prophets of the holy scriptures for the past week i have been utterly speechless and spellbound by the graciousness I see displayed all around me by people of all colors. I have been blessed to visit the holy city of Mecca. I have made my seven circuits around the Kaaba, led by a young Mopoaf named Muhammad. I drank water from the well of Zamzam. I ran seven times back and forth between the hills of Mount Asafa and Marwa. I have prayed in the ancient city of Mina, and I have prayed on Mount Arafah. There were tens of thousands of pilgrims from all over the world. They were of all colors from blue-eyed blondes to black-skinned Africans. But we were all participating in the same ritual, displaying the spirit of unity and brotherhood that my experiences in America had led me to believe never could exist between the white and the non-white. America needs to understand Islam, because this is the one religion that erases from its society the race problem. Throughout my travels in the Muslim world, I have met, talked, and even eaten with people who in America would have been considered white, but the white attitude was removed from their minds by the religion of Islam. I have never before seen a sincere and true brotherhood in practice by all colors, irrespective of their color. You may be shocked by these words coming from me, but on this pilgrimage, what I have seen and experienced has forced me to rearrange much of my thought patterns previously held and to toss aside some of my previous conclusions. This was not too difficult for me. Despite my firm convictions, I have always been a man who tries to face facts and to accept the reality of life as new experience and new knowledge unfolds. I have always kept an open mind, which is necessary to the flexibility that must go hand in hand with every form of intelligence search for truth. During the past 11 days here in the Muslim world, I have eaten from the same plate, drunk from the same glass, and slept on the same bed or on the same rug while praying to the same God with fellow Muslims whose eyes were the bluest of blue, whose hair was the blondest of blonde, and whose skin was the whitest of white. And in the words, and in the actions, and in the deeds of the white Muslims, I felt the same sincerity that I felt among the black African Muslims in Nigeria, Sudan, and Ghana. We were truly all the same brothers, because their belief in one God had removed the white from their minds, the white from their behavior, and the white from their attitude. I could see from this that perhaps if white Americans could accept the oneness of God, then perhaps too they could accept in reality the oneness of man, and cease to measure and hinder and harm others in terms of their differences in color. With racism plaguing America like an incurable cancer, the so-called Christian white American heart should be more receptive to a proven solution to such a destructive problem. Perhaps it could be in time to save America from imminent disaster. The same destruction brought upon Germany by racism that eventually destroyed the Germans themselves. Each hour here in the Holy Land enables me to have greater spiritual insight into what is happening in America between black and white. The American Negro can never be blamed for his racial animosities. He is only reacting to 400 years of the conscious racism of the American whites. But as 
racism leads America up the suicide path, I do believe, from the experiences that I've had with them, that the whites of the younger generation in the colleges and universities will see the handwriting on the walls, and many of them will turn to the spiritual path of truth. The only way left to America to ward off the disasters that racism inevitably must lead to. Never have I been so highly honored. Never have I been made to feel more humble and unworthy. Who would believe the blessings that have been heaped upon an American Negro? A few nights ago, a man who would be called in America a white man, a United Nations diplomat, an ambassador, a companion of kings, gave me his hotel suite, his bed. Never would I have even thought of dreaming that I would ever be the recipient of such honors. Honors that in America would have been bestowed upon a king, not a negro. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of the world. Sincerely, the Hajj Malik al Shabazz. Wow, wow, those are amazing words from Malcolm X. Such an amazing piece right there, man. I mean, um, self-explanatory, I mean, he talks about things that are actually reality. You know, the thing is, uh, he talked about him going all the way to Mecca, and I believe he was a Muslim, yeah? He was a Muslim. And he talks about how humble, like, to be in that religion and how people don't look into what we call racism like they are all united they are all there's one thing that we call unity they are all together whether you're black or white or whether you're in a I don't know whether you're in a different country whether you're from whatever country you're coming from the purpose here is praying to one God and believing in one God you get it so it doesn't really matter how you look like you get it the common understanding is Let's pray to Allah, and that's it. And now, um, for what I believe, now this is my own opinion right there. For what I believe, I believe there's nothing like racism. I think it's just like, uh, it, for me, I think it's white superiority. You get it? I think the whites, they really want to feel like they're so powerful, and they created the word racism so that they can. Uh, you know confuse people and what that's my own opinion anyway but I feel the whole thing that Malcolm X was saying is really true and it's really really amazing I don't believe that there's a religion out there that practices or preaches racism okay I think it's just in between um, in between uh, the people themselves but I don't believe it's just the religious uh, factor like Christians or Muslims or uh, Buddhist or maybe Judaism. I feel like it's just like in between individuality and as early as I say it, uh, there's only white superiority, there's no racism. White superiority is the one that is making people think that they are racist, you understand? But it's just that they don't want us to be ahead of them, they don't want us to be on the same boat, or maybe they don't want us to go past them. So. They try as much as possible to oppress us. That's why they labeled it as racism, you know. So everybody goes out there and says that uh, this country, these people are racist, these people are what? It's not about these people, is a, this person is a racist. They're actually scared of you taking their place. That's the whole fact, you get it. So, I mean, such a nice piece over here. And Malcolm Max was a Muslim brother. I mean, such an amazing person. Eloquent, amazing. He fought for uh, a lot of rights in the United States. Apparently, I think he was assassinated or something, which was really, really bad. Such an amazing person, man. Such an amazing person. Anyway, guys, if you feel like I reacted to this video in a better way, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to go down in my comment section and tell me exactly what you feel about my reaction and what you feel about Malcolm X on this. Uh, on this video right here man such an amazing person just let me know in the comment section what do you think uh just give me a view of what Malcolm X just say do you think it's 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 true that um the the the, the what he's saying is just aligning to, to to what is happening in the religion aspect 
be it Muslim or Christians and you know I know Muslim people they are so humble most not 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 like all of them they are people who are humble I mean it's a religion of peace it's, 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 it's a religion whereby they love each other you get it there's that love there's that unity there's that like humbleness and stuff that's what I came to realize I came to realize about that and it's such an honor to actually learn and try to um, try to understand what this uh, Muslim religion is all about and so far so good it's really amazing anyway guys uh, thank you so much and uh, the most important thing guys don't forget to subscribe to our channel then we keep on subscribing then we'll give you some motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you better better content last but not the least I'm gonna see you in the next video rather we're gonna see you in the next video and peace out